Welcome to Maths Genius. Today we will be covering an important topic in the Maths portion. Welcome to the Corn series, and today we will be discussing a topic, and this is about AP and GP. So. I will be telling you how you will be able to identify whether it's an AP or not and then how you can solve it. For example, if it's a question that if you say one paisa today, two paisa in the next day and four paisa the succeeding day on the right. So we can write it simply that A is equal to one over here. Right? A2 is equal to two and the third term that is A3 is four, right? So if you remember in AP the sums between the addition between the terms is the same right because a fixed quantity or fixed constant is being added so from A1 to A2 we are adding 1 okay so similarly if we would have add 1 over here if we would have add 1 over here so then it would be an arithmetic progression AP but we have not, we have added 2, so it's not AP. Then we will do the test for GP. GP means when we divide the next term with the previous term, we should be getting the same constant result. So similarly, if the second term first is divided by 1 we are getting 2 similarly if the third term that is 4 that it is being divided by the second term that is 2 going backwards now so I will be getting a constant of 2 it means if the both of the, these values are same it means that it's a geometric progression now what we are asked this word total is telling us that we are asked the summation of the series now we have to identify one more thing whether it's an infinite series or not. As it says that it's not an infinite series because we are asked two weeks. So two weeks is equal to how much? 14 days. So Sn formula is 1 Rn minus 1 upon R minus 1. Similarly, just plugging in the values, 1 over here, the constant R is what? R is equal to 2 as we have identified over here. So, 2 power how much n number of days over here? Subtracting 1 and we are left divided by R minus 1. R is again the constant 2 minus 1 is 1. So similarly we are just left with 2 power 14 minus 1 and if we will do the calculations we will be getting a very huge answer. Since the value is in pesos we will be dividing that answer. by 100 because all the options are given in rupees so we have to convert that into rupees as well finally and we would be left with the value of 16383 by plugging it into the calculator i hope you guys have understood this a very important question which is consisting of two parts first is the simple interesting and the other is a sum of series for 10 months now how we will be solving it first of all initially what happens to the students that when they look such a question they go and look for the solution so over here it says 8000 invested at 2.76 simple interest per annum as we are aware simple interest is calculated by PRT over 100 right principal amount is 8000 rate of interest is 76 I am writing so that's why it's over 100 and it's in 10 months so I have to consider that I have to divide it by 12 so there is a problem 
That once I have divided by 12, I am getting a value of 184. So this is the total simple interest for the whole period of time, and that is 10 months. It is not not for single period. It is for the complete period. Okay. So 184. So the amount invested is 8000. After 10 months, you are also getting 184 addition. So you are getting total. Amount of 8184 into 10. Now, now the question starts that if each installment is double, we are unaware of the installment. But what we are aware of is that the total is 8184. So we will be receiving an amount of 8184 at the end of 10 months. Okay. So if each installment is double, right? So installment one is i, for example. The second installment would be two i. The third one four i. A similar question again. The factor since every one is a multiple, so we can say that it's a geometric progression. Geometric progression and r is equal to two. Once you have identified this. Now you can solve the question pretty easily. It says S n is equal to 1 minus sorry, R n minus 1 over R minus 1. Now A the first term. What is what is it? We are unaware of it. Right? But are we using the correct formula? Because if you remember, there is another formula for S n that is equal to n over 2 into A plus L. A is the first term, L is the last term. So what we have to find, we have to find the value of the first and the last installment. So we have to find both A and L. Okay. So putting the values over here, this is 10 over 2, the sum is 8, 1. 8, 4 into a plus l this becomes 5 so 8 1 8 4 over 5 is equal to a plus l this is the first equation now over here 8 1 8 4 is equal to a into r and r is what 2 2 power 10 minus 1 over 2 minus 1 is 1 so we don't have to identify it. So now from this equation I can directly find out A and by substituting this value in the other one I can easily find out L. So by putting and plugging in the values I am left with the value of this. That's the end of the session. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And subscribe my channel for more videos and updates.